All right, so we're going to clean up this drive shaft off the 54C deck or HC deck. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the drive shaft apart. Uh, to do that, there's this little set screw in there that, that stops a tab from being removed. Uh, so we're just going to have to twist that out. Sometimes these can be a little bit of a pain to get out. I generally take them all the way out. Um, Set them aside, make sure they're small part, don't lose them, and then pull it out. And so now you've got your, your shaft apart. Now a lot of times, which this shaft obviously needs to be cleaned, I generally do this on all of my mower duct drive shafts every other year. Because what happens is you can see all the crud and debris from mowing gets stuck in there. And as I've indicated in earlier videos, mower drive shafts are expensive and there's no reason um, that in a couple thousand hours of mowing or snow removal that you should need to replace a drive shaft. Um, theoretically, a drive shaft is a one-time purchase and you, if, as long as you maintain them and keep them greased, they should be fine. So what I do is I actually just take a razor blade and you see the little nub there. Got my paper towel here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to scrape off all of this junk. And we'll come back and get the rest later. I mean, there's, you know, four different types of grease in here. Probably somebody just used whatever random grease they could find. Which I suppose some grease is better than no grease. Okay, so there's that part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of brake cleaner because, I mean, you've got all that dirt on that shaft right there. Just take a little bit of brake cleaner and just clean that shaft up. And you're going to start with fresh grease anyway, so taking all the grease off really doesn't, doesn't hurt anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and degrease the rest of this drive shaft. And then what I'm going to do... And honestly, if you're just doing some maintenance, you can just get in here and clean up all of this uh, just grease and grime in here. You don't need to get it too clean uh, because it's not necessarily hurting anything. It's just, you know, unsightly in my opinion. Um, but what it does let you do is it lets you inspect the U-joint, um, which that cross U-joint seems perfectly fine. Um, and so, you know, just get in here and, you know, not necessarily imperative that it be 100% perfect, but you can at least at bare minimum get in there and clean it out and inspect everything. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back and we'll work on the um, tractor side of the drive shaft. All right, so next part of the video is we're going to um, take the slip mechanism apart. So it is held on by a keeper. Now, Deere sells these entire kits for hundred and some, some odd dollars. But realistically, what you need to do is, I mean, if you clean it up every now and then, I'm going to try to keep you in focus here. You can just take a pair of snap ring pliers. And actually, the pair of snap ring pliers I have are um, internal pliers. They're not external pliers. But you can just, that's probably like one of the easiest rings to get off. And now what happens is you just got to kind of, work at it to get it off or in my case I'll be back in just a minute so instead of fighting with it what you can do is you can actually walk over to a tractor and just put it on the tractor and that should release it like that and if you pull it back just a little bit whoop, forgot that the spring wasn't on there um, but you know what that's part of the fun of making these videos as you can see my mistakes now that I've got parts scattered everywhere. Um, actually, I've only lost a spring. Which isn't bad. So you got your spring, you got your retaining clip, and you got your... Um, put that over there. You got your cap, whatever you want to call it. And then there's a washer that sits on there. Now what we need to do is we need to take all of these ball bearings out because these ball bearings, and hopefully you can see it in the picture, they just get all kinds of crap behind them. 
over time. And so to do that, you can take the same pair of snap ring pliers, you just put them in there, and you can pop them out, put them in a little retaining area there. And in terms of making your life easier when uh, putting on a mower deck and stuff, this spending 30 minutes doing this every couple years is well, well worth it. Hmm. There we go. And note that the, the two ball bearings on the main part of the collar are larger than the other four. I'm trying to do this blind so you can see it on the on camera. I can really twist the camera down a little bit. One more. Really hope you can see that. Just like that. Okay. So that is how the whole assembly comes apart. Now what I'm going to do for the next probably 10 minutes. I'm going to get all those uh, ball bearings cleaned up because you can see they have a little rust on them and they're got a little dirt and grime on them and all of that contributes to a, that mechanism not working same thing if you look in there you see there's a little bit of rust in there things like that I'm gonna go ahead and get all that cleaned up and I'm also going to go ahead and clean up this shaft right here you'll find that it probably looks like it's going to look a whole lot better when we get done and so I'm going to go do that. I don't think you want to watch me clean for the next 15 minutes. And we'll come back and we'll reassemble it. All right. So all of our parts are cleaned up. So there's our drive shaft. I think it looks significantly better. So what we have to do now is... I didn't clean the spring off. Not that there's much really to clean off on the spring. It's one of those parts that it's going to get rusty. Um, one thing I do want to warn anybody against... Uh, don't use a lot of grease when putting these back together. Uh, using grease will just cause the whole drive shaft to cake itself in, uh, particularly the insides, in dirt and dust. So what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to take and we're going to put the four balls in the bottom back in. Now notice I am not putting any lube on them yet. Um, one the, one of the reasons is because they're somewhat of a tight fit and I found that if you put any type of lubricant on them they're more likely to come out and roll across the floor and just be generally frustrating okay so now we can take put our washer on like so and then after we're going to put a washer on now we can put the two balls on the top like that okay now what I like to do is I like to go around the whole thing carefully. Normally I, I don't rotate it, but I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. And I put WD-40 on each one of these ball bearings. All right. Now, the way this spring goes in, the flat end goes in this cup. So... It works like that. The spring end goes down. So now I'm going to take that, put it on here, like so. I really hope that this will be seen well. Like that. And you have to hold this down because that um, spring clip is not on. Now you can take the spring clip, and typically you can put the spring clip on with your fingers make sure it looks good and then sometimes you can pop it out sometimes you can't i'm going to take the 318 pto again look at that how nice that works um now what i do is i typically just take and put some wd-40 down in it and then rotate it around WD-40, from my experience, is less likely to um, grab dirt, debris, things along those lines. Just like that. Oh, 
helps if I pull it back. And I think that's nice and smooth. It'll come off easy when you're unhooking the deck from the tractor. Okay, so now to reassemble everything, what we're gonna do is take, I did forget to clean this screw off here. Let me do that real quick. Um, while I'm cleaning the screw off, I like to use uh, on the U joints and the drive shaft, I like to use a Molly grease. Um, you can get into a grease discussion and have all kinds of uh, good discussion, um, but really it's it's up to you. Um, your favorite type of grease, you can pick it. Doesn't really matter, okay? But what I like to do, now keep in mind that this grease circ is only going to, when you put the shaft in there, the grease, the opening or the little travel channel for that knob um, is right here on this side and the grease circ is on this side. So that grease circ is only gonna get one side of this shaft. All right, so what I like to do is just take a grease gun and just put a thin film of grease. If you put too much, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna push it off when you put the drive shaft back in in the, uh, when you put the male part of the drive shaft back in the female part of the drive shaft, you're just gonna push all that grease off. So I found just put a nice, simple, light coat of grease. You can grease it later when you put it back together or put it back on the tractor, just like that. That's gonna help it stay together, you know, that's gonna help grease everything. Um, it's not going in there dry, but at the same time, you're not pushing a bunch of grease out that you, you're not wasting a bunch of grease. So now all you have to do is you have to line the knob up there with its little channel. I did clean the inside of out of this tube by passing a paper towel through it a couple times. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it in and out a couple times. And you see there's no, there's not much excess grease on the surface there. At the same time, the drive shaft fits nice in there, pulls in and out. I'm very happy with that. Now we can take and we can put our set screw back in so the drive shaft doesn't come apart. Make sure that there's nothing wrong with the, the nut. Yep, and then it works. Cool. And there is our nice clean drive shaft for our 54 HC deck. So now all I have to do is put that back on the deck and we should be good to go. Thanks for watching.